Selfish OS app tip number one, how to get software on your Selfish OS device, either Yola C or Intex Aquafish or Note, Yola phone. You have one store option called Yola Store and let's go into it. Let's dive into it basically. The Yola Store provides both native applications and Android applications that can be run with the Android compatibility layer or Android runtime, Alien Dalvik, basically. So the Yola store itself features some interesting applications. First of all, if it loads, it loads very slowly. I don't know why exactly, maybe because of the service and lots and lots of people downloading stuff. But first of all, you have an section of recommend applications uh, on the top. You can see for example Aptoid, another store to install Android applications. You see some activities. This is basically the tab where you can tap on it and see ratings or comments that people do um, during browsing through the store and here you can directly jump to an application and see what someone wrote about this application. Then you have new apps, which is basically a list of new apps. You can see here the most recently new apps. Click on here, you can see a um, better overview of all the new apps. And one thing that you can see here is that you have normal native apps with only an icon and a name and an author. and and a like score and you see some of them with a little green Android symbol which basically indicates that those apps are Android apps so not native apps and you need the Android runtime you need the Android support installed to install them and run them. So here you can see for example the here we go app let's click on this which is a map application you can see here also another indicator Android app which tells you that this is an Android application so you need the Android support for it. You have a description, you can click on the description text if you have these three points here which basically says that there is more to it and here you can see the full description together with a change log if there is any at the bottom. You can see the type, Android application in this case, the version number, the size of the application which is usually the size that you have to download as well and the change log of the application itself as well as one when was the last time the application was um, updated as well as when was the first time the application uh, appeared in the store. Then you have screenshots of the application you can just click on them and swipe through them to see what's in here. With a click again you are back to the application info page you have some comments the last three comments are shown here but you click you can click on comments and you will get a full list of all comments to this application sometimes it's very useful to scroll through it especially if you have some problems and those problems were solved for some users back uh, in the past you can just scroll up to see how to solve them this is the first thing to do if you encounter a problem with some applications so the next thing that you can do is add and comment of course but you can also rate the application. You have this little like uh, icon here to rate the application so if you like it just uh, hit the like button and um, yeah just give something back so the author knows that his application is liked or if it's not liked he can improve on it. You have also under the Android application icon you can see the likes, 150 in this case in the downloads, in this case uh, over 500. There's no... Um, so the, 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 the download count is basically going in, 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 in uh, fixed values. There's no, um, no absolute value shown here. This is because um, uh, the absolute value is only known to the author itself and not uh, in the store. This is of course to, to, to make it easier for the store. 
Um, yeah, these are basically the list of new applications that you can get. Uh, let me go back. Uh, best applications, which is basically the list of um, applications that are mostly liked. And as you can see here, you have the top uh, six in here. Android support, file browser, Mecast, Aptoids App Store, Mail and GT Player. If you click on here, you get an overview of some other applications as well, so longer list basically of applications liked. And you can see here, if I scroll down, I, I get uh, to the one with less uh, lesser likes. And I can go back and you can see here now another uh, way of accessing or searching for applications. You have apps and games, so two categories already. And you have YOLA, if you click on YOLA, you get to the apps by Yola, which are basically, some of them are proprietary, just like the Microsoft Exchange support. So if you need Microsoft Exchange support, you can download from here. Uh, weather, notes, documents, media, calculator, Android support, calendar, and mail. And you can see this one with a little, um, with with this little symbol, a check mark symbol basically, which tells you that the, these applications are basically already installed. Uh, now let's let's go back. You have some marketplaces in here, which uh, is basically um, an overview of all app stores provided here. In this case, you can see the NZ Market, the Aptoid App Store, and the Yandex Store. So you have the option to just download Android app stores from here as well. What what I'm missing here is F-Droid somehow, but hmm, not sure why. Uh, but you can find here some other alternatives, especially when you want to download uh, Android applications. Then we have some apps. If you click on here, you get an overview uh, of apps, basically, and they are um, sorted from the newest one to the oldest one and you can see you get a nice little indicator again swipe to the right or swipe from right to the left to get to the categories so i can search for for example multimedia applications and i get a nice list of multimedia applications just like for example time lapse which is a nice uh, cool feature if you want to make a time lapse photo shooting you can do so with this nice little application. You can see it's a Sailfish app, which basically indicates it's a native app. You can see there are 48 likes and it was downloaded more than 500 uh, times. And you can see th some comments. You can see the screenshots here. As you can see here, you have the op option to save internally or externally. So the screenshots are very helpful sometimes if you want to know a little bit about the features and if the description itself is a little bit yeah, uh, not so uh, detailed. Let's go back. Um, of course you can search for other applications but you can see that here are no games because games have a different uh, category altogether in the main page. If you click on games you can see the different games sorted from newest to uh, oldest and you have also a category view here from action, adventure, casual, children, puzzle, simulation or sports. Let's go into sports and see what's in there. You can see there are only a few games in this case like just like for example Sail Dash which is a game um, of uh, yeah, basically running a running game. I'm not sure 100 meters dash. So uh, basically, um, perhaps very interesting for people who like Olympia or the Olympic Games. Um, you can run a little bit. Screenshots are a little bit big, but you can uh, have runners on 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 uh, on the track basically, and you have to tap the screen so that your runner will win this 100 meter dash, uh, um, basically. So nice little app, nice little game. Yeah, this is basically um, how you search and browse for games or for applications in the store. If you want to install something, just like for example JBoy Color, which is a new app for Game Boy Color games. What, I, what you can do is, after you read all the descriptions, there is a little indicator that there is a pulley menu. You can just pull down and then you have an install entry here, let go, 
and it will start installing. You can see the progress bar here. It's now on waiting and waiting and waiting. I think it's downloading the stuff and then installing the stuff. And a few seconds later you will also get a notification that the software was installed. And then you have the option to just open up the application. You can see also on some applications that you have a flatter button because there are no paid applications in the Yola store. So if you want to support one developer you can hit on this flatter button and uh, yeah, basically flatter a little bit for this uh, application or for this game. Uh, in this case I think it's more an, of an application and Game Boy Color emulator for say Fisher S. As you can see here status is now downloading. So it's a little bit slow. Maybe my connection is a little bit slow. Yeah, it could be my connection is slow. And now it's uninstalled. It's installed basically and if you go to pulley menu you have the option to open up the application or to deinstall to remove the application. So this is basically the option here. And if you like the application just click on the like button and if you like an application you can see that the... Oops, not working. Ah, now you can see that the like application gets a bluish greenish tone so that basically indicates that uh, you have clicked on it. Yeah, this is basically the Yola store where you can get applications, games and you can see featured applications in here. You can also search for applications by going to the pulley menu here or get a list of all installed applications going into my applications and here you can see that there is also an update available for my Teo translator application that I have installed. So what I can do here is go into each of those installed applications or I can just hit um, update everything and this will basically grab the newest uh, Teo translator, in this case update and install it. So this is the way how you can update stuff. Also, of course, if updates are available, they show in here. So not on the Twitter uh, thingy, but above it, it will show um, new applications or new up updates for applications are available. Yeah, this is basically the Yoda store and uh, the first thing, the first source, if you want to have or want to grab new um, software from. And in the next video I will show you how to grab software from a more inofficial way and just native applications but in a very interesting store so stay tuned or just hit the next button to go to the next video. And this is uh, my first basic Safish app podcast and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.